Hey folks, welcome back to the vlog. We've got a busy day for you. All right, so today is delivery day. We've got three different places to go to deliver coffee, and I'm gonna take you along for the ride. We're gonna talk shop a little bit, and uh, I'm sorry. I just wanna say that out of the gate. I have severely ne neglected you folks on the YouTube community. But hey, what can I say? When you're a one-man show trying to build a business, you just don't think about video content. Uh, but the comments keep coming in, and you guys remind me that I need to do better. So thank you for that. And basically, um, we're just gonna start calling these vlogs because I wanna take you along with what I'm doing. I have no particular content that I wanna share with you, no particular words of wisdom that you should probably store away. Uh, but this is my journey and I want you guys to come along and learn from me and so we can learn from one another. So today I have three different deliveries. I live in Durham, North Carolina and my coffee has made it to Hillsboro. You can look it up if you want. Uh, another shop in Durham. And then today we are in the Raleigh market. So I'm excited about that. So it's gonna take probably a few hours to drive to these places. And it's my favorite day, delivery day, because we get to chat up the folks. So here's what we got working with. Got my car, got different bins of coffee. And as you can see, we're delivering uh, some Costa Rican today. This is uh, actually a really good coffee, but I wanted to show you, still doing the white bag, still doing the labels. I have since got this fancy little QR code that can send customers to my website, fold it down the flap with a Derby Roaster sticker. And that's how I'm presenting uh, bags today. So, some more content, oh, different coffees. Come around to this side. And the coffee shop in Raleigh has ordered five uh, pound bags. So I've got two of those so they can serve that however they desire. So anyway, well, let's take a trip. All right, first stop is actually the post office uh, because I am shipping out some coffee to a guy who I found on Instagram who I hired to do my rebrand. And I just got the final branding sheet yesterday and I am stoked on it can't wait for you guys to see what he came up with it is a lot of the same but a whole lot of different it just looks classic it's timeless and I'm really digging it I can't wait to share it with you guys because I'm gonna be ordering some custom bags soon I think Man, I recognize my beard is hey look you guys know let's just call it what do you want to call it Let's just call it beard mask. You guys know what I'm talking about. You just, you know, you just stop trying because you just cover it up uh, and then you take it off and it looks all disheveled. Anyway, I'm going to get it trimmed tomorrow, so I'm excited about that. So yeah, custom bags um, coming from China. Hopefully, I got to work with uh, another graphic designer that's a friend of mine who actually designed the the first labels and we're deciding on a color palette. So basically, I'm gonna, I want one color for the bags, and then he's gonna suggest some different colors that will complement that bag color, and then we're gonna kinda build the brand from there, starting over from scratch. So, um, yeah, like I said, just got the, the artwork, uh, and I know nothing about graphic design, so I don't even have the Illustrator. I have to hire people, you know, and I just can't be good at everything, you know. I have to focus on what I'm passionate about, what I'm good at, and that's coffee roasting. So I, I can't buy all this software. And so anyway, it just, you know, it helps to have friends that want you to grow and, you know, you support them as well with, with their work. So, all right, just leaving the post office. Dropped off a package shipping two coffees up to Virginia. And I am feeling it. It's like 1045 and all I've had is a little bit of caffeine from cupping some coffees this morning. Uh, actually, the, the coffees that I'm 
selling to this coffee shop in Raleigh. So I wanted to make sure they were tasting good and they are. So now I think I'm gonna go visit my friend Tim at Liturgy Beverage for some caffeine. All right, so what's new since the last episode? I think, uh, I think this is what's new. So I was talking about getting into two more stores and that became a reality. Thankfully, um, that was fairly easy thanks to some good friends in the community. And man, a lot of building my business right now is just having good friends who are making connections for me. So I'm super grateful. So I'm actually headed uh, right now before the caffeine to go drop off some caffeine beans, bags of coffee to this one. It's like a supermarket, but they have a butcher inside. They already sell coffee. And if you've heard of counterculture, I'm on the same shelf as counterculture and it's kind of crazy. <laughs> so this one has been a, a really good client, a really good uh, account, whatever you want to call it. Um, she is, the owner is super nice, super helpful, wants me to do well. And so I've already, gosh, this is probably my third or fourth delivery to them since like the middle of January. And it's the in middle of March right now. So that was one of the stores. And then uh, shortly after that, I got into another store, but it's kind of uh, an interesting spot. It's a, actually a community owned farm. I think that's what it's like, a co-op and they're on one to two acres and they grow their own produce but they also had the store that they just built so people can come in and buy local products like meats cheeses dairy products and then coffee and my coffee is the only coffee that they have and so i'm really excited about that so two new stores and i'm amped on it and then in the shipping department can't remember if i talked about this or not but i ended up finding a solution through pirateship.com and they are actually cheaper and I went ahead and bought a printer it is a oh man what do you call it like a heat a thermal printer that's what you call it, it doesn't use any ink like you don't have to buy ink cartridges it's amazing and it prints your labels I got it on Amazon and it's saving me a lot of money so far and I don't have to wait in line I just bypass all the normal people who are frustrated and I drop my packages off and walk out the door and say see you later so that has been huge so if you have any questions about that hit me up I can share my experience more detailed all right something else that was on our radar uh, an opportunity but we actually turned it down we I say we it's me I turned it down but I have a lot of family and friends that I uh, you know ask uh, their opinions and in this case it really helped so a lady approached me who is has a store at a mall and basically the concept is she is uh, inviting under other vendors to come in and sell their stuff their little goods and their trinkets and she heard about me and wanted coffee to be sold there and not only bags of coffee but she wanted beverages sold and it was actually at the new store where she's opening up at the Tanger Outlet Shops, which is basically like an outdoor mall, but they're outlet shops. Uh, guys from the south, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I went up there actually with my dad. We walked through the space. I was going to have like 10 by 10, and it looked really good, and I was excited about the opportunity to start selling drinks. But... Uh, then I got to thinking, you know, who's going to be here? And then I would have to hire a staff, and it was just such a huge jump that ultimately I turned it down because I was going to kill myself, my family, and you know what? I just need to be patient because these opportunities will come. Obviously, they're coming pretty fast, so I just have to be patient, and that's what I'm telling myself. So I feel really good about the decision to not commit to that uh, at this time. And we'll see, maybe if in a year from now, things are a little bit different, uh, I'll go for it. But on that same note, like, where do I wanna go from here? It's been two, three months since I've posted that video, and I feel more and more strongly about um, some 
real estate of my own so that I could put my own roaster in there. I just want more control of my company because right now I'm kind of at you know, the hands of, of other folks. Yeah, I really want to be able to have more control over each batch. That means using my own roaster, my own software, having a place to store all this coffee stuff and do production. It would be amazing. So that's the game plan. We'll see. Um, we'll see what comes of it. Stay tuned. All right, pulling in to stop number one. Let's see if you can see it. All right, let's deliver some coffee. All right, successful delivery. I love delivering there because get it, give her the invoice and they write you a check. Cash in hand, there's nothing better than that. And then, um, you know, different people are different uh, as, as far as some folks will like to stock their own. So they'll take the coffee from you and, and they'll actually put it on the shelf. Um, with this particular store, um, she'll count the bags, write the check, put the, the price on it right then and there, and then I will put it uh, on the shelves. So basically from what I learned from economics class in college, you basically want first in, first out. You know, you want your freshest stuff to be sold first. So I'm putting new bags in the back. Um, but I know the tricks. I know when I go buy coffee sometimes, I always look for the freshest date or I'll, I'll buy what's uh, in the back probably. So who knows? That's just what I do. All right, it's 11.07 and I need caffeine. I need it so bad because I'm getting a headache. I think I might get a bagel too. There's a bagel shop right beside uh, the coffee joint. So that sounds good. All right, <clears throat> just leaving the coffee shop. Feels good to be a little bit more caffeinated. Man, uh, they let me try a drink that's not even on the menu yet. This bad boy right here. They're calling it a strawberry basil espresso tonic. What? You guys are doing crazy stuff. It's kind of good though. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit different taste uh, direction than you know what I'm used to in the morning, just black coffee. That was delicious. And I had a bagel. And it wasn't just a bagel, it was a black lime and sea salt bagel with scallion cream cheese. Oh man, you guys are not living until you have a black lime and sea salt bagel with cream cheese that's scallionized, man. You just don't wanna smell my breath right now, I'll tell you that. All right, delivery stop number two, here we go, 20 miles away. All right, coffee delivery number two, successful. Now on to number three, and it's 46 minutes. Woo, I need to hire a driver. All right, delivery number three, successful. 1.55 in the afternoon, and I'm tired, and I'm over-caffeinated at this point, but it's been a good day. Thanks for coming along. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I had to say about that. So at this point, I'm headed home. Um, gonna take some Advil because I'm aching for no reason at all. Spend some time with my family, enjoy a Friday night at home, and uh, you know, not do coffee stuff for a while maybe, we'll see. All right, much love to you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Keep reaching out, keep drinking fresh local coffee. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.